YouTube, I'm Lo and I'm Emma and you reach Book Girls on the Internet! Okay, hi Emma, so today we are reviewing The Lesbian's Guide to Catholic School by Sonora Reyes Definitely I think so um, Pronouns, they, them, this book came out this year so we have not discussed this book until now that we are filming. <laughs> so before we go into how we feel about the book, yeah, can you tell me what the book is about? The book is about a our protagonist, a closeted lesbian who is starting at a new school, which is a Catholic school, and it's kind of like a high school coming of age queer young adult read. Teen read? Teen. Uh, teen. It's, yeah. it's fairly PG. Yeah, I would put it teen, queer, coming of age, if I had to like pick three. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, w I, I wouldn't say it otherwise. It's about... What's her name? <laughs> this is why I took notes. I'm like gifty. I'm like, no, it's not. That's tr that's a trend that I think of. <sighs> Yamilet. Yami. Oh, Yami. Okay. Yamilet. Yeah, okay. Short Yami. Okay, so agreed. We follow Yami along, kind of all, also her brother, like in bits and pieces, mm. um, as she is trying to, ha to hide that she's gay, um, and it's proving kind of difficult. Um, it's it's very interesting because we it's it's a first person story so we kind of you get her hear, perspective all yeah <laughs> her inner monologue about everything and you get a lot of like the fear of like being outed or mm -hmm. or, or coming out um, what did you when did you read it I read it in November so a, a month ago. Okay, I think I read. I was a bit late to it, so I was a couple weeks ago, I think. So recent for us to have both forgotten yes, the characters. Yes, I know, but it's because we read a lot of books back to back. <laughs> um, did you like it? Yes and no. Okay, what did you like? Okay, so I liked the story. I liked the characters. I liked the kind of. Some of the character arcs I didn't love, but I thought the main, like her and her brother, I really enjoyed those character arcs. Um, I liked the. Oh, I have a third thing I can't remember. I liked the plot. Like I liked how it flowed. It was very straightforward. Um, I didn't like the writing style. Oh, interesting. It just. What about what about the writing style? At the beginning, it felt like the style of someone who's writing their first book and who maybe... It is their first book. Okay, but a lot of people have written first books and they have such like, I don't know, styles that just you just get so swept into it. And yeah. this one, it felt like... Not someone, immersive. Not not immersive. It felt like... So, this is going to sound mean, but it felt like someone... It's okay, you're allowed not to like a book. <laughs> was in high school and like got this idea for a book and wrote a book and maybe hasn't developed their writing style fully yet and it felt like a teenager could write in that style. Yeah, it was very simple. Very. And I like kind of simple straightforward. There's something though it just wasn't clicking for me. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. For me, I, I, I guess just on the writing style piece, mm. I... I did. I do agree that it was like very simple, but I don't know if the if like there was something missing per se. Because maybe because in my mind I was just like, oh, this is just a teen book. Fair. Um, okay. What didn't you like about the book other than the writing style? You said there was an, a character arc that you didn't like. Um. Her dad's there, was, and I don't even so I can't even spoil it because I naturally cannot remember. But oh, I'm gonna spoil the book. I had Spoiler alert! <laughs> I had written a note when I wrote my notes that I forgot about. 
um, that it felt, I didn't like his arc, like it did feel realistic to me. Yeah, uh, it, it was not consistent. No, and uh, at the end things wrapped up a little too tidily, and I was like, no, it didn't, like that also pulls me out of it and doesn't feel as real. And not at all, like, I mean, we read fantasy and sci-fi and stuff, so it's not like everything has to be realistic, but... But the relation, it's true that there was something about the relationships and how they evolve in the book that it was a bit too good to be true. Yeah. Um, I really liked the sibling relationship. Yes. And how that was developed and all, like, I thought that was very well done. Yeah. The two siblings figuring out how to be vulnerable and, 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 and kind of like, I guess, trust each other that way was a nice touch. I don't want to say... I, I don't think it was written in a beautiful way, but it was like, it was touching. Mm -hmm. um, I also really liked the theme of being Mexican or Mayan. Anyways, the, I guess the, the theme of like being othered um, and experiencing the white gaze as a queer um, person of color, and especially in a Catholic school. I thought I thought those were interesting, like to flesh out in a, in a teen book, mm. because, I mean, it's very very new age, like to me. Yeah, no, I agree, and I think yeah. I also think of like Bo's parents, like so the love interest Bo is Asian and has been adopted by white parents, and when we're first introduced, they're like cool and with it and like everything we want, and I thought that it was really interesting that. Like, it would have been very easy to just leave them as, like, the shining example of yeah. their parents. And the fact that they had, I mean, it was a small plot thing, but it was still, like, it was nice that that was thrown yeah. in to have that kind of learning moment for them where it could be like, hey, your intentions are really good, but here's how you kind of yeah. fucked it up. And I thought, it's it, and, it, and it's realistic to paint, I want to say, white adoptive parents that way. And it, I thought it was a nice touch because otherwise in the book we would have had this contrast of, like, problematic Mexican parents and then great white parents yeah. so it's just like I thought that was nice and even if Bo was yeah she I guess she's a central plot point because she's a love interest I like that Jamal um, so Yami's brother whose name I don't remember um, love interest also has a kind of a family conflict that's a bit more violent but it's it was nice that those side characters also had a I want to say like almost like a subplot um but you're right that it was i think the book was the author they were trying to do a lot mm. with, with, with the debut novel and i think some of the things some some points in the plot could have been fleshed out a little bit more so there is there is a part when basically the mother find spoiler alert that the mother finds out that both her kids are gay yeah queer and, and she has spent the whole book yeah. not knowing they're queer, but, like, shitting on queer people yeah. through her religion and her faith. Yeah. And she has a change of heart, which... That it, felt unrealistic. Yeah. Me. Especially so with the quickly. speed. It yes. was too quick. Yeah. Like, there was a small hiccup where it was, like, the, um, Yami and her mom were, like, in a shouting match. And then afterwards, the mom kind of, like, came around. But I agree. Like, the speed and, like, the... The rhythm of that plot resolution was like too fast. Yeah. Um, and, and and like the whole like she she basically like organized a party for them um, and like overly like decorated and everything. And it was really cute and stuff, but it was it, it felt a little bit cheesy. You know when you yeah. watch like cheesy Netflix shows, <laughs> they kind of felt like that. Yeah. Um, but overall, I would say I would definitely read their second book. Um, I'm very curious to where um, their writing will go and how it will develop. Um, not that it's going to be a sequel. It's just going to be a, a second teen novel. Um, but something also I, I didn't like was uh, their anger problem. is like Yami's anger problems mm. is like never really addressed. And yeah. I guess authors can't always resolve everything in plots, but I, I felt like that was a bit of a it it Yami like thinks a lot, like she thinks a lot about her life and she's really observant about other people, but I think it felt weird that she just didn't really reflect on like 
I shouldn't be breaking a mirror, you know, like right. when I'm angry. Like yeah. I thought, I don't know. I guess, I guess it's one of those things when, like, as a reader, I want the character to like be this a certain way or like come to a certain realization, and, like that just didn't happen. Yeah. Um, was there a scene that you like kind of that you really liked in the book, or that that really stood out and you were just like, oh, I really like this part? Not that I can think of off the top of my head. Was there one for you? Yeah, when they were putting the dad on blast on FaceTime. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. I was just like picturing it like if it was a TV show and I was like, that would be such a fun scene to to like watch and even to film, I'm sure, like for actors. Mm. Um, but yeah, overall, I don't have much much more to say. It was a yeah. fun read. It was easy. It was quick, yeah. Um, it was one of those like if you needed like a chase book, like... <laughs> A chase her like that was it was really good yeah yeah it was pretty good in that sense but yeah I I'm curious to see how um their the author's writing style may or may not evolve maybe a- yeah I'm on the fence about reading their next book I think if the plot grabs me like yeah. if I read the back or a summary or whatever and I'm like yeah I'm in. Because yeah. if it's the same writing style that I didn't love and the plot's not grabbing me, then I'll probably give it a miss. Okay. We'll see. We're done with this one. Bye. <laughs>